Next, the Lord says, we have a challenge. And this one is important. Hope you listen to me carefully. I beg you to listen to my heart. When he showed me, no one taught me this. I got a degree in education. So I'm not a dumb man. But let me tell you something. The Lord told me I was miseducated. In other words, I was educated. Now listen, you got to hear this. If you get this, you understand Bahamas Faith Ministries' vision. He said, look. He said, the curriculum that produced you was written by the oppressor. Write that down somewhere. Very important. Whatever curriculum produced you, you become. A curriculum is a system of information transfer built on certain philosophies about life that is designed to produce a product just like that philosophy. The curriculum that the oppressor wrote, listen to me carefully please, I need help. Holy Spirit help me. The curriculum that the oppressor wrote for you, that you, you know, you folks who graduated from high school. By the way, it is still here. We changed the name, but it's still here. Okay. The curriculum is designed by the oppressor for the oppressor's children, not for the oppressed. This is very deep. So, so, so the curriculum is designed for his children, the oppressor's children, to use to produce the children like the oppressor is. But what the oppressor did was also allow the oppressed children to use the same curriculum. But there's a problem here. You gotta hear me. The problem is the raw material for the curriculum is the mentality of the children that the curriculum impacts. Pray for revelation. Pray, pray for understanding now because you ain't getting it yet. So, if the raw material is not right, then the impact of the curriculum on the mentality of the student is compounded double negative. Let me, let me explain. Let me try this. Can understand this because this is a Holy Spirit revelation. You see, the, the, the oppressor's child is born in the home of the oppressor. The oppressor's child. So the oppressor's child is born in an environment where he is trained to think like the oppressor. He's thinking already, I am somebody. I am in charge. I am the boss. I am. He's thinking that I can do anything. I am powerful. I am awesome. He's already trained it as a kid. He's living in that environment already. Are you listening to me? This is very important. So, that is why your great great granddaddy called the oppressor's little boy who is five years old master I want you to think about that a minute I want you to think about that a minute suppose your parents called you master from day one just your parents not even the servants in the house but just your parents did that you wouldn't be what you are right now follow me so this little boy received his self-concept and his self-esteem and his self-worth from birth even before the curriculum hits him he already knows he's somebody he already knows he's worth a lot he already knows he is important he's significant he's powerful he's master and then it's reinforced by an adult man calling him right. master I hope you understand what I'm talking about that's our challenge to see a Nigerian in England who I met 
who has two PhDs, one in physics and one in psychology, sweeping the floor. I wept. You see? So, if you have a child, please listen to me, I'm going to go right now, I know you want to go, listen. Yeah. If you have a child who's already secure in their self-concept, know their self-worth, convinced about their self-esteem, then all you got to teach them is how to read, how to write, and how to do arithmetic. Some of you are getting it. They don't need to learn how to love themselves. How to believe that they are awesome, can do anything. They already got that. They come with that. So the curriculum is designed by their parents to teach them how to read, to write, and how to do arithmetic. So they can learn the skills of staying in charge. Help me. The oppressor decides, okay, since the natives are becoming a little bit restless, we'll give them education. So we'll give them the same curriculum. Our curriculum in the Bahamas was always a British curriculum designed by the oppressor but placed on little children who hate themselves, have no self-concept, no self-worth, no self-esteem, but they teach them how to read, how to write, and how to do arithmetic. Why? So they could serve the oppressor more effectively. Now some of you ain't getting this. <laughs> Watch this. And they even allow you to advance in arithmetic. You can go from high school to O levels to A levels. And now they call them what? BCEGs or whatever. They, there's the same curriculum. They, they, they don't even let you go to Stanford College or Oxford College and get a PhD in it. But your head still damaged. You got a PhD with self-hatred. A PhD with low self-esteem. A PhD with no self-worth. A PhD with no self-concept. That's our challenge. Then they told our parents, if your son or daughter gets a job, we'll give them a job. If you get an education, we'll give them a job. If they learn these three R's, we'll give them a job. So your parents' number one admonition was, get an education. It was, it was never love yourself. You are valuable. You are master too. So you think that education is the answer. I disagree. Nothing is worse than a well-educated self Hater. That's why BFM was raised up. We are raised up to shift education from the three R's to the three S's. Self-concept, self-worth, and self-esteem. And that is only possible through reconnecting you to your source, which is God himself. Because your self-concept is what? You are made in God's self-image in his likeness with his power I was delivered from the curriculum by the Word of God I'm gonna say it again I was delivered from the curriculum that trained me only by the Word of God that Bible you get in your hand I am smarter than a levels no IQ could measure my ability no IQ test. I know. Listen. No exam can measure your potential. None. Young people go to school, do good grades, but mesmerize them. Do better than they expected. But don't allow their grades to judge your ability. Because you are as good as God tells you you are.
Hi, thank you so much for watching. Please remember you can support our work on our Patreon page and you get access to exclusive content and full videos. And please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so and click the notification bell to be the first to receive newer content. Please don't forget to like and share this video with your friends to be a blessing to them. Thank you.